Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the world of reaction videos with Samantha and Phil. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy to have you here. Bars and Barbells is the channel name, but you know that because you've already subscribed. If not, this is your first time on the channel. Welcome, glad that you're here with us to check out a little more Toto. Yes. This is not the first time we've got into Toto. No, we've done another one. We've done Hold the Line. Yes. Which was fire. Yeah, it was really cool. Banger track. <laughs> Love that one. So on the heels of that in those comments, you're saying we got to check out Africa. And that's how we've arrived at Africa. Not the continent. Just the song. <laughs> yes. And Never been to the continent. I think the other popular one you guys were saying was Rosanna. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll check that out after this yeah. one. Let us know what you guys think. If maybe we should do a live version of either Africa or Hold the Line. Or if we should jump into the next studio version. We always love your insights. We appreciate the support, the likes, and the yes. comments, the subscriptions have been overwhelming thus yes. far. Thank you guys. You guys give us so much education on all the artists, which is awesome. Yeah. You enjoyed Toto as much as I did on the last one, right? Yeah, I loved it. It was great. Yeah. So we're excited to check out this next one. And uh, really not sure what to expect from the song called Africa. I believe it's about the continent, but you never yeah. know. It could be a double entendre for something else. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Well, we're going to find out, though. Yeah. Before we do, we got a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. We always got a, well, not always, but a lot of the time on these videos now, we're trying to add a little bit of a pop quiz for you. So yeah, you guys can some get, fun engagement. We talk about how we're educated so much throughout this process. Yeah. So maybe we can return the favor. And the question is, how many studio albums has Toto released? Yes. If you stick around, Sam's going to give you the answer yes, to that. Yes, better stick around. Kind of a two-part answer, but we'll give you the answer nonetheless. <laughs> Anyways, you ready to check it a little bit more? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. So I recognize that. That sounds so melody. familiar. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know from where. I don't I, I almost feel like I could be way off in this one, but I used to play the game FIFA, you know, yeah. the soccer game for like mm -hmm. PlayStation, all that kind of stuff. Clearly, clearly you probably know what that is because I've talked about it before. Um, <laughs> yes. Anyways, you guys, I, I assume you know FIFA as well. It's a, it's a PlayStation game, soccer game, football game. And uh, I feel like this may have been in like one of these World Cup games. Oh, maybe. That I played. Yeah. I I think I may know it from there. That would be kind of weird and kind of random, but Yeah, it sounds familiar to me too. I have no idea where I would know it from, but All right. Well, let's play it a little longer. Like I said, I did recognize that portion. I hear the drums echo in tonight. And she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. The moonlit wings reflect the stars that guide me towards salvation. I stopped an old man along the way, hoping to find some old forgotten words or ancient melodies. He turned to me as if to say, Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you. Longing for some solitary company I know that I must do what's right Sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti I seek to cure what's deep inside Frightened of this thing that I've become So 
So is there another version of this song maybe that I've heard? So I think there's a song. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's a full cover. I think it might just be a sample of the chorus, but um, Carl Wolf has a song called Africa and the chorus is definitely the same. I know that for a fact. Where's Carl Wolf from again? Is he from Toronto? I feel like he's, yeah, I feel like he's from Canada. Okay, so maybe that's what I would have heard it where yeah. I would have heard on the radio or something there. But the song to, is definitely is different. Like, like it's more poppy. Right. He's like a hip hop, R&B, yes. pop kind of. Yeah, right? but it's weird because I do really recognize the background music of this, and yeah. I, I think his his is different. Like I said, it's more. It's not like it's probably just like a sampled, and people are going to come in and say no, it was stolen. When people say sample, blah, yeah. blah 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 blah. Let's not go there, guys. Let's just. Yeah, but this is sick. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, it sounds really familiar to me um, in the same light that this, like, background, um, some of the instrumentation that has been used to highlight the Africa. Like, the chorus, the chorus portion is so fire. Mm -hmm. I love the chorus. It's so good. Yeah. And, um, you know, that kind of stands out, that Africa portion. Um, and the melody that we got into it, but I don't recognize the lyrics no. of the, the, the verse in there. And I also Either. the chorus does still sound different to me. And that's why I'm a little bit perplexed and confused as to where I may have heard it. And I might have been off in yeah. the beginning. But anyways, um, I love the, the use, like I said, of the vocals on the chorus there. I love the dynamic instrumentation that they're using to give it this Africa feel. feel. Yes, 100%. Yeah. It almost has like an African, almost baller word line, like tribal kind of Yeah, feel. exactly. And the, I don't know what instruments they're using in there. Yeah. Clearly they got a few it's different cool drums. I feel like they have a synthesizer maybe that they're using. Mm -hmm. More of like, it sounds more of like hand drums or something. Yeah, so they're, I think, you know, using, utilizing instruments really, really well to get the message, message of the cross of the song. I'm not really totally sure what the meaning of the song is, um, you know, because like I'm confused with the video. We're in a library here, looks like. And then they've got like shades of African visuals in there mm -hmm. as well. So I'm finding the video in line with some of the lyrics a little bit confusing because uh, yeah. clearly they're not from Africa and uh, they're making a song about Africa. So I don't know if they're yeah. talking about what they visualize as Africa being. Yeah, like what they're telling think that would be like. story of the yeah. continent of continent of africa if maybe some of the members had been there or what i don't know how we're getting into this this concept but the sound of it is representing yeah that. even the chorus right because it says that like there's nothing that anyone could do to take me away from you exactly. like nothing that hundred more could ever do i'll breast the rains down africa so it's like it's almost talking about like your love for your country but it's like he's not exactly. from africa i mean so. i guess they could be but i'm assuming not because yeah, i don't africa remember maybe. reading anything about toto that they were from that yeah. part of the world i don't know i think we read the, where they're from but i can't remember anyways so that's why like you said those lyrics kind of sound like somebody that would have been speaking about their home yeah right yeah. so that's why i'm finding it a little bit perplexing but yeah. nonetheless you guys can let us know in those comments nonetheless if you just heard it without the video yeah. you think oh this is a sick song about africa yeah yeah, yeah literally <laughs> you know, it, it really that's what i used to i mean i didn't even know that the carl wolf one came from something else that's what i used to think yeah. about that because i used to really like that song <laughs> Well, let's see what they do at the back half. Yeah. 
Loved it. Yeah, that was really cool. I mean, like you said, I was a little bit confused between the video with the song with everything else, but overall the song composition of itself was really, really cool. I yeah. loved all like the unique instrumentation. I loved the chorus. I, lo- I thought the vocal was really good. The bass line really stuck out for me yeah. in this one. It was just like, boom, boom, like right in my ear. It was just like, yeah. And then they played off the bass line really well with all this like other high end instrumentation, mm-hmm. you know, really yeah. giving cool, you unique sounds. Yeah. A lot of great layering to, to kind of give you this vibrant feel mm-hmm. of Africa and this yeah. visual look kind of, I feel like the, the sounds kind of played into what you would visualize with Africa and this vibrant, lush, beautiful landscape with all these yeah. like, animals and, you know, everything, yeah. you know, obviously. The lions prowling around. <laughs> yeah. And I kind of like, obviously we mentioned the tribal aspect as yes. well. So it yeah. kind of, I think, gave you a visual of maybe what specifically Africa would have been viewed as back in that time. But the only thing I was going to say is I feel like now people lose their minds about a bunch of white dudes making a song about Africa. Yeah, like they'd be like, who are you to... Like, you guys shouldn't be so- talking, making a song about Africa when you know nothing about the heritage and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, it's really commemorating, obviously, the beauty of Africa, probably. Yeah. You know, uh, even just shining a light on it more because it is, I think, an often overlooked continent. Like, it's, I think, the biggest continent in the world. And I'm pretty sure you can fit, like... North America inside Africa, like twice or multiple times. Like <laughs> it's, it's huge. Like you look at the map and you don't really realize how yeah, big Africa is. It really is. Yeah. And it's like just absolutely massive. Ginormous. Wow. Yeah. Cause they kind of scale it down improperly on like the Atlas portion. Yeah. Right? So that so, it can all look like it fits on one page. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So, you know, like I said, I was just, that's what I was just thinking about. I was like, I don't care personally, but I feel like people in today's like world, if you released it in 2023, it would be like cancel culture immediately. Yeah but I like it. Me too. I thought it was really good. I thought it was great. I mean, obviously I have never been to Africa, so I can't really speak to its uh, accuracy, but I feel like, you know, at the time, obviously people really liked it. So African lion safari is in the future. (laughs) Yeah, no, I have two for two for me with them so far, yeah, too. Yeah, they were great. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Let us know about this detail. Sorry if we're kind of way off base on some of these things, but this one was kind of out there. So Yeah, you know. but I'm glad we did it because I thought it was cool. Yeah, uh, that was awesome. And uh, let us know about Rosanna, like I said, and anything else you want to add. We Like I've mentioned before, I really appreciate all the insights that you guys give us. Yes, and we have the answer for that quiz question for you, which is how many studio albums does Toto have? And they have 14 studio albums, but they also have eight live albums. Yeah. So, so it's 14, kind of like a trick question. Yeah, 14 classified as studio releases. Yes. And then eight live albums that yeah. they've also compiled. So, which is pretty impressive. And uh, it's a lot of material. So we got to get into a little bit more, I think. So you yeah. can let us know where to start with that. And um, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you come back and check out our next video. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.